wanted to talk to you uh, today a little bit about what I do when I feel like I'm about to get a cold. I really haven't had a full-blown cold where it's gotten so, so bad since, you know, since I stopped eating meat and dairy. So it's been 2008. It's been now uh, six years. So, <clears throat> but every once in a while, I do feel my lymph nodes getting sore and they'll get swollen and drop down. And I'll get a little mucus, not as much as I used to, but it's just a little bit and it's like uncomfortable and painful up there. So this is what I do when that happens and it knocks it out within a couple days. So I have I recommend this to like everybody and it, it always helps them. I make a tea and I drink it like water. So at least three times per day, I'm drinking it when I feel like this um, or more. That's all I'm drinking basically in terms of liquid. So I boil water and basically boil out fresh ginger. So I cut up the ginger like this. If you can see, they're like little, little um, strips. And I put this in <clears throat> a little pot and boil out, boil it out in some water for a long time. Like just let it boil high, and so it can, you know extrapolate all the ginger from the root and once that's done I and like for like 15 minutes I do that for when until the water starts to change to that bronze color of the ginger and then I pour it in a cup I add crushed fresh garlic this is one of the secret big key ingredients. The ginger is helpful, but this one, this one is what's going to take it to the next level and knock it out as soon as possible. Fresh ginger, fresh garlic. So I just do one clove, crush it up, and I put it in my cup. And then take a half of this, squeeze lemon juice in there. And cayenne. I do a dash, that's all you need is a dash of cayenne. This will clear up mucus and also <laughs> fight the infection. So cayenne is one of my favorite spices to use. So this is a mix anybody can do, can put together to fight their cold or flu infection or whatever. Anytime you feel your lymph nodes has gotten infected or feel sick or sore, try that and it should work. Now, if you have access to herbs, another thing that I use, um, <clears throat> I boil out the ginger, but then I'll add it to an herb um, and let it steep for 30 minutes. And that herb is this that I grabbed from Earth Healing Cafe storage, neem leaf. We don't have that much left because it's just been that season. And this can be used for a lot of different things, but this herb fights infection. I feel every house should have this herb, every household. Because uh, anytime I get sick, this is my go-to herb. So I add this to the hot boiled out ginger. I let this steep for 30 minutes. And then I add the other stuff. That one's a killer. Now, there is a couple of other herbs too I wanna mention that are really good too. If you if your uh, sickness has gotten so full blown that you have a lot of mucus and congestion, boom, marshmallow root. Look at that. It looks like fur or something. It's really hairy looking. Um, but this is an expectorant, so it'll help with cough, mucus, getting all that stuff out. So this is really good. And it's also, like, normally with the roots, you want to boil them out, like put them in water on the stove 
and boil it out, let it boil out a long time, let it sit on simmer too at a certain point um, to get as much out of it as possible. With the leaves, you can just steep them. So with neem, I can steep this is something you want to boil out. Um, but it doesn't need to be for, for that long too because it's kind of fine and soft. So, another thing that comes along with sickness is headaches. And like with the flu, you know, your body can feel, you know, in pain in different areas. So, for pain, another go-to herb I have for pain, and this is very helpful to me when I have headaches, when I have um, menstruation cramps, you know, um, white willow bark. This is the grandfather to aspirin. Every household should have this. I got my mom a whole pound bag of this um, because it's so good. It's fast acting. Within 30 minutes, this and me, within 30 minutes, you're going to feel, you know, better. You're going to feel, you know, less. This neem is fast action. With this, you can actually feel your headache is gone, your menstruation cramp, cramps are gone. So, white willow bark. Um, and if you want some, we have a ton of it. ehcafe.com. You can ask the herbalist and get yourself a batch. But just to do a quick recap, because I don't want this video to go too long. Um, if you have a cold, cut up your ginger root into these thin strips. Add some clean water, like alkaline water, to the pot. Boil it out. I recommend 30 minutes um, and make sure the water has changed color because I think if the, the ginger is old, it won't have much juice in it really to come out and so the water will be like faint. So it's not going to be strong. You want really strong ginger. Another thing you could do too if you have a juicer is actually juice the ginger. That would get it even stronger. As strong as possible is how you're going to you know, cut the sickness out as soon as possible. Then you want to add fresh clove of garlic chopped up, half a lemon juice, a dash of cayenne pepper. You don't need more than that. A dash is enough for a cup. And when I say a cup, if you want to give me one second. This is the cup. I got this at my graduation. My favorite cup. And, you know, it's a normal size cup. It's not like a huge mug. This is what you drink tea out of. And it's good because then the herbs can be really concentrated. It should be, especially with the neem, it should be like a dark, um, like, I don't know, brown, black, red. I, I can't even explain that color. But it just should be like deep and, and dark. Like a, like a brown red, like, you know, type of color. That's how you know it's really strong. And the herbs, neem, fight the infection, get the swelling down, and take the pain out of there, out of your lymph nodes. Marshmallow root, get the mucus out of the lungs, and help with the cough. And then white willow bark to fight the pain. All right, if you're having any headaches or body pain. So I hope this was helpful to you. This, all of this stuff really helps me. So it's my go-to. And I never have to use any pharmaceutical drugs or, you know, any kind of, put any chemicals in my body. This is my uh, holistic home health kit. Take care, guys. Uh, check out rawfoodmealplanner.com. I have lots of meal plans on there and workout plans. I'm about to get my workout in right now, which is why I'm in my workout gear. And um, if you want some herbs, check out ehcafe.com. Alrighty, take care.